Hey, yeah, the 1960s, happy times, heavy times. She might be Catholic, she might be Jewish, she might be anything. So you bring her up in what they call the bourgeois American type society family. You know, you bring them up so they don't screw until they get married. You take them to church on Sunday. They, you teach them all you can, what you, you think you can teach them about how to bring up a family, how you should look and act. And they send them to college. You'll bust your hump. You no know, government subsidy. Nobody's paying nothing. You save your money or you borrow the money. You work overtime. You send her to college. You want her to get an education. The first Easter, she comes home on a vacation. She says, hey, Dad, I'm living with some guy. You're living with some guy. What do you mean you're living with some guy? Well, this is the thing now. Free love. We're getting away from, we're getting away from the original. What we're trying to find is why these bears is right. That's part of it. Because they could vote. The message is given in the wrong direction. That's what, what happens is, look, I'm sending you to school. I'm breaking my ass. I'm sending you to college, right? I expect you to go to learn something. Let it be a janitor. Learn something, you know? Yeah. To, to justify my investment in you. But some of these people revel in the fact that their kids are, are leaders, are rabble rousers. This son bitch just started a riot. Oh, oh no, 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 too much. <laughs> these kids think they're the first generation that ever screwed before they got married. We all did, but we always had one girl. girl so. She screwed that girl you took out. <laughs> it's better off these kids don't get married, because when they get married, they haven't got the guts to stick with them. <laughs>